Welcome to Sing Geek! In this video you're going to learn how to breathe properly when you're singing. I see such huge improvement in my students once they master their breathing technique and today I'm going to help you do that too by sharing two inhalation exercises that will get you breathing for singing. Hi guys, my name is Ronnie Peterson and it is great to be back for some more geeking out on your voice. Today my goal really is to get you breathing properly when you sing. First with this video that will help you get conscious control of your breathing muscles and then with a second video on exhalation which I will link to at the end of this video. So why is breathing so important? We talk about it a lot when we sing, right? Well, it is so that your voice cannot make sound without air. If you are a little bit confused about this, try exhaling all your air and then sing a long, powerful note. Ah. It's not possible. So as you might have just experienced, you need to control your air to control your voice. The end goal here is actually to exhale a steady stream of air that supports your voice for making beautiful sound all the way from the beginning of your phrases to the end of your phrases. To control how much air you exhale, you need to first control how much air you inhale. And that's when we start talking about this muscle. You might have heard about it before. It's called the diaphragm. Not diagram, that's something else. Diaphragm, the breathing muscle. Let's kick out on vocal anatomy here for a quick second. It is so that your lungs are quite lazy on their own or they can't move on their own. And they need this muscle, the diaphragm, which is attached to the bottom of them, to stretch them out when you inhale and to let them go when you exhale. When you use this muscle actively, you will see an expansion by your stomach as you inhale and your shoulders are free to stay down, leaving out any tension that that sometimes can do when you breathe like this and can travel to your throat. And you're also able to completely control how much air you take in and how much air you exhale. Woo, so good job sticking with the anatomy talk. And now you might be wondering, well, how do I use this diaphragm muscle actively? That's what we're going to practice right now with these two exercises. In the first one, you're going to lay down on the floor and you're going to put a book on your stomach and you're going to lift it in the air by using your diaphragm. Lay down on your bed or floor and place a book on your stomach. Now as you inhale, try lifting the book with your stomach by breathing deeply into the spot where you feel the weight of the book. Then lower the book again as you exhale. Once you're able to do this, try holding the book up for five seconds before letting it back down. Five, four, three, two, one. Once you've got this, stand back up and transfer the motion by trying to push the book outward as you inhale. I find that this is often a little bit harder than when you were first lying down. Try it a few times and don't despair if you don't get it right away. Try this next exercise. Curl up your hands like a fist and place it on your lips so that your index finger and thumb face your mouth. Now try sucking air through your fist in a motion that comes all the way from your stomach. Try it a few times, varying how tightly you close your fist. You should feel your stomach going outward quickly when you do it right. The last step is to practice breathing naturally for singing. And you simply practice this by putting one hand on your chest and one on your diaphragm. And as you inhale, only the hand on your diaphragm should move. So let's try that. If you feel your shoulders go up, you simply just put them back down and try again. It's not going to be super easy in the beginning for most people, so try it a few times. I hope that was a lot of fun and that you were able to engage your breathing muscles. Please let me know how it's going in the comments below. I really want to help you get this technique right. And if you're new here, subscribe, become a part of the Sing Geek community so that we can keep geeking out on your voice every week to create the voice that you want. 